Yo, what's going on YouTube? So, for some of you guys who've subscribed recently, you'll have seen that I've had a YouTube channel for quite a while um, and I haven't really done anything. I haven't really posted anything in a very long time. I've just been so busy over the last kind of year, writing my PhD, finishing it off. Um, it's about time I get back on YouTube um, and do bits and pieces. So this is just a quick vlog. Today's vlog is a bit of a Q&A. So I've got sent in quite a few questions and I haven't actually read a lot of them. So I'm going to read some of them out. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Um, I used to. Uh, I don't anymore. Um, I'll have a look around this hotel and see. But no. Have you ever stolen a street sign? <laughs> yes, I have. Um, so in, in university, in college, um, myself and my housemates one year uh, went through a stage of uh, stealing wet floor signs. Basically, we stole wet floor signs and every person that was invited back to our house, uh, girls, um, each girl had to sign a wet floor sign that was left in the house. Embarrassing. I might edit this out, but yeah. Mom, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Um, do you always smile for photos? I actually don't. I rarely smile for photos, if I'm honest. I probably need to smile a bit more because I'm actually always happy. Um, so I probably should smile a bit more. Um, have you ever peed in the woods? Yes. What guy hasn't peed in the woods when he needs to go for a pee? So yes, I have. Where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Hmm, I'm not gonna tell you, just in case one day I need to. So I'm keeping that one to myself. What do you drink with dinner? Usually if I'm dieting or I'm trying to stay in shape, a Diet Coke, because I prefer to use my calories on food um, and not a, a normal coke uh, um, and if I'm being a bit more adventurous I might put Jack Daniels in that coke but I don't drink well I say that now I usually don't drink that much um, rarely even though recently I have had a bit here and there what do you dip a chicken nugget in if I could pick it would be garlic mayonnaise I absolutely love garlic mayonnaise recently so garlic mayonnaise do you sing in the car? Uh, I probably sing in the gym to myself um, and possibly in the car as well. Nike or Adidas? It depends on what it is. Oh, historically, I would, I'll probably say Nike, especially with boots as well. When I used to play rugby, it was always Nike. Have you ever cried because you were so happy? No, I haven't. I haven't. Maybe I'm missing out, but no, unfortunately. No, I don't. What movies could you watch over and over and still love? This is a strange one because I'll go onto Netflix and I will purposely go to a movie that I've watched before. Um, I'm very unadventurous when it comes to movies. I like sticking to movies that I know I like and I'll watch them over and over again. Um, Embarrassing fact, I used to have, this isn't because it's a soppy movie, but I used to have an absolute obsession with the Titanic, the boat. Um, I used to know every single fact about it, um, used to paint drawings of it, everything. And um, when that came out, I watched it like, I must have watched it like 20 to 30 times in a row in a very short space of time, just over and over and over again. I was obsessed. Um, not because it's soppy. Do you cut out coupons and never use them? I don't really collect coupons. What I do do is I have like a Nando's card um, and a Starbucks card. And I do, to be fair, actually use those. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? Yes. Occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid. Okay, so this is a funny one. So the real answer is the two goals that I, I had as a kid were, I had two. Well, I had a few, but the main ones were I wanted to do a PhD. 
um, I wanted to have Doctor in front of my name and I wanted to be on the cover of a magazine. Um, thankfully, um, miraculously, I've happened to do both um, at an early age, uh, which I'm massively grateful for um, and pinch myself all the time um, were those two. They were the most realistic, even though they're not realistic at all. Um, I suppose I used to fantasize about being in a boy band. Awkward. Yeah, I used to, yeah, there, there, there's, there's no way of sugarcoating this. I used to love the idea of being in a boy band and traveling around the world. And bear in mind, I grew up in Ireland in the 90s. So we had Boy Zone, we had Westlife. You know, five were on the scene in the UK, Backstreet Boys. Yeah, cringe, I know. Cringe. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I'm gonna get hated for this, but I am more of a cat person. Um, I like dogs, I love dogs, don't get me wrong, I love all animals. Um, I just like the fact of you can just be chilling, doing your own thing, and a cat comes along, gives you some attention, and just sits in your lap. And it's there because it wants to be there, not because it feels like it has to be there. And I think that's true for people as well. I think I'm very much like that with people. Um, you know, being somewhere because you want to be somewhere is very different to being somewhere because you feel like you have to be there. And I've probably been massively guilty of one of those in the past. <laughs> 